The word for today, the ingredients of a miracle. Let's examine the story of Jesus turning water into wine. It was his first miracle, and it reveals how he will work in your life. 1. Invite Jesus. There was a wedding in Cana of Galilee. Jesus and his disciples were invited. John 2, 1 to 2. When the problem arose, this couple didn't have to send for Jesus because he was already there. Not only did they know him, they included him in their plans. They honored him. The cry of Paul's heart was, that I may know him, Philippians 3, 10. Why? Because when you know the Lord, you can call on him with confidence and to be assured he will be by your side when you need him. This couple probably had a long time to prepare for this event. Yet Jesus didn't criticize them for poor planning. He came to their aid and met their need. And he will do the same for you. All you have to do is invite him. Two, do what he tells you, even when you do not understand it. Faith does not require explanations. It requires simple obedience and trusting in the goodness of God. Delight yourself also in the Lord, and he shall give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him, and he shall bring it to pass. Psalm 37, 4 to 5. 3. Understand that God can save the best for the last. You have kept the good wine until now. John 2, 10. It's not too late. What looks to you like a tragedy can become a testimony of God's goodness and faithfulness in your life. That is the word for today.